Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a wig and a look that I probably, you know, like sometimes you see wig reviewers and they'll they'll review wigs and you can immediately say, oh, that doesn't look good on her or oh, I love it on her or this or that. So oftentimes the wig reviewers will review products or show products in different colors, different styles so that you, if you are on a wig wearing journey, can get an idea of what a particular style would look like on you. So for me, this cut and color would not have been a pick, a wig or a look that I would have chosen, but I absolutely love that I have the opportunity to share it with you. I actually looked to see if I could find a review of this wig, and I really couldn't. I only found one review that I could find on this particular style. This is actually Uni Wigs, and this is their new 2020 release. They came out with, I think, four, maybe five wigs that were new that this year that all had heat-friendly fiber. They had sent me one that I reviewed before. I'll make sure that I link that above. And it was a very blonde color. It was absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is in that same line with the heat-friendly fiber. This is actually called Karen. This is Jenny Wigs Karen. And I'm going to just show you. It does have a full monosynthetic top. It is heat friendly, so you can actually, if you wanted to use some, you know, put some curls in here, you could. It is, however, a very short summer style. And I'll tell you that it is very light, very comfortable on my head, and you can wear it many different ways. When I got it, I shook it. I tried to lift the fibers up because it came to me very sleek, and I prefer more of a looser look. So I tried to lift the fibers up. I hung it upside down. I didn't do anything. I didn't add any products to it. It does have a full bang. I don't prefer a full bang, so I did kind of push it off my head. Very much pretty, pretty choppy layers. Comes in a number of different colors, but the fringe is really designed to sort of disguise, camouflage, any sign of a wig hair line, because sometimes you can see, you know, unless you get something that has an exceptional lace front, sometimes you can see that wiggy looking hairline. With having a little bit of a fringe like this, you really, you really can't see it. I think it's a really pretty shade. It's got some highlighting on it, some different dimensions. And I am all about having different dimensions in my hair look because I don't want to have one solid color. So for me, so this is called Smoky Sand, and the color code for Uniwigs is 12-26R. So it has a little bit of a root. It's got some nice blends of those two colors in it, and it's called Smoky Sand. I'm going to do a spin. It is a short look. For those of you that are looking for a short, super cute summer style, check it out. I'll be sure to link it, but check it out because it really is cute. So here's the back view. It does have an extended nape. I'll show you the inside in a moment. Side view, front view. The ear tabs, it fits really good. I have a 22 inch circumference and the dimensions on this is 21.75. It actually fits me very snugly, but not tight. So I have worn this for, gosh, maybe walking around the house for an hour. And that to me is long enough for me to tell on my head whether or not it would be too tight. Because sometimes, you know, like when you wear a headband or you wear something that's too tight, for me anyways, after about 30 minutes, my head starts to hurt. So even though I have a 22 inch circumference, this 21.75 fits me really, really good and it's very, very comfortable. So this is Uniwig's Karen in the color Smoky Sand. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna superimpose right now and show you the inside of the cap. And as you can see here, it really has a lovely monofilament. It has a base. It is um, hand-tied monofilament base. Really nice natural scalp appearing. You can actually part it on any side you want. Going around it, you can, you can actually see that the ear tabs are, are nice, but they're not like huge. They, they fit actually pretty flush to my head. Going around the back, it has a bra strap adjuster. And I had it on the largest adjustment, as you can see there. A little bit of an extended nape. 
really nice, nice look. Now I'm going to superimpose some of the outside shots that I took just so you can get a little bit of a different idea from the outside because I think that makes a, di a big difference. So anyways, in closing, if you're interested in this wig or any of the brand new 2020 Uni Wigs, check out the link below. This was sent to me complimentary from Uni Wigs in exchange for a review. And like I said in the beginning, sometimes I have been totally surprised when I'm sent a wig that I would not have chosen based on the photos of the model. And sometimes it's just so super good when you can watch reviews of real people, you know, not just the stock photos on a website of a model wearing it. I think it just really, really helps that decision-making process for you. At alternate hair has come a long way. And uni wigs, this is, this is, um, really, I think this is really cute. I think you can do a lot of this. Check out the different colors. I already know if I were to order this myself, what color I would pick. But anyways, thank you for watching. Truly appreciate your support. Bye-bye.